A worm is a worm. <laughs> What's the unboxing? What it be? Well, I don't know. Shut up and see. Hey friends, there comes a time in every unboxer's life where they have to fast track an unboxing. They're not necessarily ready to do it, but the box arrives in a certain condition and you have to get to the bottom of it to see if the book needs to go to the hospital. So that's the case here. I'll patch something in later with the magic duff bucket if we want to make it all official. But right now, my concern is for the patient. All right? Uh, this dune has traveled from the mountains to the flatlands. And the box is... I just have some questions, and I'll show it to you. I'll show it to you right now. So without further ado, it's uh, a huge gash right here. Um, it It is kicked in right here and I'm just I feel like there's a lot of padding because Jared's this isn't Jared's first rodeo but it's my first you know pretty pricey book from Centipede so I just I'm going to have more concerns than normal now of course this is the unsigned version so now yeah, what you know but you know I will say I didn't know it says 62 on here. Now, I didn't know that um, the unsigned versions, editions, were going to be numbered. I just thought that perhaps um, they would be unnumbered because they're unsigned. But unsigned doesn't necessarily mean they're not counted in among the 250. Um, for those who don't know, duh. I mean, I'm sure you all know. But... 500 were signed and numbered, and 250 were unsigned and apparently numbered. That's, we're all getting a little education. So, so let's look. In the hole. Oh, look at that. Bam, bam, bam. Oh. So here's, here's the dent. Here's where the book was. So if there's any damage to the book, it'll be right here. Oh, dear God. Oh, no. Let me see. So it would be right here. Right here. And sure enough, it's kicked in. Oh, look at that. Bam, right there. Oh, man. Oh. Look at that. Dude. Man. Now let's I'm now now it's to see if the trans if it transferred to the book. Which would be mega bad. So, so here's, here's the, the ding and we open it up. I don't see, how did that go? Okay, so it would be here. Oh no, I can't tell, but I feel so I didn't know the book would be wrapped in mylar. Um, it's big. Oh, look at that. So I did not know the book would be wrapped in mylar. Do you see anything, fans at home? It doesn't look like it. Um, this is beautiful. This reminds me of Out of the Dark by Steve Ran Ranzik Tem. Um, We'll, we'll open this up and we'll see because the the book won't hide anything um, if there is any issue. And it looks like the book made it through unscathed. All right. And I'll, I'll of course, take a closer look at it. 
uh, it's it's a, just a bummer to spend the time bracing for something wrong when you're looking at a book like this. Um, so that sucks. But look at that. I didn't realize that this was indented. Um, this is inside. So the board is cut, and there's the worm. That's a worm, not a dragon. The end paper... Um, I will look through the illustrations. So yes, typical, beautiful centipede quality. Um, I'm beyond thrilled that the damage was limited to not even the dust jacket. The dust jacket didn't even get any, uh, taste of that action. So I'm very happy this is okay. Let's see. Is it signed? I mean... Numbered? I know it's not signed, but is it numbered? No, it's it's not. I'm looking at the back where um where those designations usually are, and there's no no number. But it, it said number sixty two, so I don't know. I'll just claim I have sixty two out of two fifty. So this will be my first time reading Dune. This will be the book I read. Uh, I like the top edge stain. I do love that when any publisher does it. I love the spine tree, which is dune very simply. Um, and I hope I love it. And if I do not love it, you know, I'll sell it. <laughs> if I don't love it. I have a feeling I will love it. Uh, so my fears were proven, justified. Um, this and uh, this slipcase, this um, capped slipcase, this portion isn't affected this is um and the book seems fine so a little it's a bummer a bummer bummer um here's the dust jacket and if if there's a, if there's ever a test then it would be the dust jacket. There was no transference to the dust jacket. Look at that. And the inside, can you see? Yeah. And, um, yeah, bummer. Bummer. So as promised, here's the Magic Duff Bucket with his recommendation for this video, which is Evil Twin Brewing, even more Jesus, uh, that I'm going to pour into this glass and consume it's just it's it's a less a celebratory drink and more a drown your sorrows drink which is not my typical drink but sometimes you know different different uh, problems call for the same medicine you know different events so i uh i talked to jared i emailed jared and he's going to replace the slip case in january it is a very busy guy right now and it's cool so he's going to send me a new uh, slip case, and then I'm going to send him the damaged one back. And then here's the rub of it. Upon further inspection of the book, I have two of the two. I have a repetition of an art piece opposite page 299 and opposite page 399 is the same piece of art. And that should not be. I talked to friends in the community and they showed me pictures of the art piece I'm missing. I sent that to Jared as well, and this is going to require a rebinding. So I have to send it to the bookbinder. Yeah, not not what you're hoping for a big grail like the Dune, you know, the Dune. Um, so a bummer, a bummer for sure, but uh, we're going to fix it. It's going to get fixed. It's going to get fixed. And I, I did um, uh, neglect to mention when I was looking at the book, um, obviously this isn't one of my best unboxings because it's distracting when you notice a big ding in the slipcase. So you're kind of thinking about that while you're looking at the rest. So I wasn't able to appreciate all the details, all the cool stuff, the bonus stuff, um, the, the additional artwork. There's a whole section in there that shows all the, um, characters in the book. It's an upfront section and it has images and art of, each character, which is pretty cool, especially 
if uh, if there are all, there's an extensive cast of characters, you want to keep them straight in your brain. Um, and the texture on the pictures, um, I say pictures, on the illustrations, the art pages, th there's a really cool texture. You could, it's not, it's not slick, it's not glossy, but there's, there, there are definite little, little bumps and, um, um, a, a definite coarse feeling to the artwork pages. Very cool. The book overall is, is a tremendous piece of publishing history. And I'm glad to have it. I have it for a little while. I'm going to send it to the shop, to the hospital, to get looked over and fixed. And then, you know, I'll move on and I'll have it on my shelf for when my kids liquidate my estate. And, of course, I'm going to read it. I'm going to, I'm going to read a book. Uh, Producer Jill is going to do a book review with me. <laughs> Isn't that fun? Isn't that fun? We decided this on a live stream. If you don't go to my live streams on Monday, you're missing out on a weekly party. And and the gang pressured uh, producer Jill to also read Dune and then uh, do a, a review with me as like a he said, she said book review. Anyway, I just wanted to update you. I'm bummed and, you know, I, I, I kind of, you know, I kind of don't want to be the one who gets the crappy copy that needs to be fixed. But um, I will say it's better me than some diehard fan who's been waiting his or her whole life to get their hands on this book, and then it's flawed. So I took one for the team. I am your hero, and when a hero comes along, just look inside you and be strong. So I'll uh, I'll kick it back to other Jeff, and he'll say stay frosty and what uh, whatever other business he's got to do. I got to finish this stout and then watch uh the year without santa claus with the fam and um and chill you know and chill so so i was hoping for a little happier thing but whatever it's a first world problem you know this is not anything that um you should write congress about we can all just move along with our lives and, you know, try to get some sleep. You know, if you take some Benadryl, you know, maybe that'll help knock you out a little bit. Um, I'll get over it. I'll, I'll go through the grieving process and uh, talk to my therapist. Uh, my therapist lives right above a Starbucks. So I'll have a nice little pumpkin spice latte or eggnog latte or whatever they serve now and go see my therapist about my dinged copy of Dune, um, and uh, we'll all move toward uh, healing 2022. Hug the worm, hug the worm. <laughs> uh, get your arms around it. Um, and if you ever find yourself in the desert, just try to stay frosty. This video was very cringy for Milo. He just didn't have it to sit through it. So he just closed his eyes and wished it all away. And I guess if you're a cat, that works. And you don't have to worry about anything other than your next bowl full of pate that they slap in the cold dish in front of you. And then you go back to sleep. So, you know, he got over it. Um, and I think we'll all recover, like I said. And... Um, I do want you to feel sorry for me, so if you're feeling sorry for me, just please continue that. That's very good. Uh, pity me. Pity is really what the best I could hope for, pity and low expectations. So keep that up. Um, like, the, like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for uh, more pity parties.